And you're back with us here in the thick of another America's Forum. I'm John Bachman. And I'm J.D. Hayworth. Uh, John, some political news to get to. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie doing everything he can to put the George Washington Bridge scandal behind him. The governor embarking on a, cam a comeback tour of sorts, touring the results uh, or touting the results of an internal investigation that cleared him of any wrongdoing. But while the governor is giving rousing speeches and meeting with GOP fundraisers, there are two investigations that promise to keep Bridgegate alive in the minds of the media anyway. A federal grand jury hearing testimony, also so is a legislative panel in New Jersey. The grand jury testimony considered a major development in this case. It started out as a preliminary inquiry, but now has become a full-fledged criminal probe to decide whether or not any federal laws have been broken. Legal experts say as witnesses or targets testify under oath in front of federal prosecutors, they will be acutely aware that a single charge could result, or a, a single lie could result in a charge of perjury. So Christy, nowhere near is out of the woods just quite yet. Joining us to talk about this and much more, Ed Berliner here with us. Also Howie Carr joining us from Skype. And we'll talk about Chris Christie guys in just a second, but I want to start with that news out of New Hampshire. Scott Brown apparently making the announcement, going to make it official this coming Thursday, that he's going to, in fact, jump in that Senate race, a challenge Gene uh, Shaheen. And, and Howie, uh, this supposedly came in an email to Scott Brown's supporters. Uh, you've been urging him to go ahead and jump in this race. Uh, he's finally doing it, it looks like. And you said the Shaheen camp, they're pretty nervous right now. Oh, definitely, John. You, you have to uh, assume they are. You know, at the, at the St. Patrick's Day breakfast in Boston last month, uh, Elizabeth Warren, the senator who knocked off Brown in 2012, she made at least three jokes about Brown. Uh, Deval Patrick is telling him to, uh, excuse me, Barack Obama is telling him to go back to Texas. They're, uh, they're spending all sorts of money, uh, the, uh, the, the super PACs, trying to knock, knock him down trying to reduce the the uh, Obamacare issue to a to an afterthought trying to make it about clean money I don't think that's going to work but I think I think definitely that uh, they're very concerned that they could lose this seat the Democrats all right so we'll keep our eyes on Portsmouth New Hampshire on Thursday when that announcement is supposed to come but let's move on and talk about the Chris Christie issue. as promised the Chris Christie story and how he obviously this impaneling of a grand jury and now the fact that the grand jury is moving forward, that is a serious uh, development in this case. But in the broader sense, the media buzz about Chris Christie, your whole take on how this thing has developed uh, over the past few months. Well, J.D., I, I, I looked at uh, CNN radio today when I went to the, to the health club that I go to, and I look up there and CN, CNN is running number one the malaysian aircraft story and number two chris christie in the bridge i felt like i was in groundhog day this has been the same story old stories over and over again and th there's really nothing new here and uh by the way i always thought that they that they never made an announcement that a grand jury had been impaneled or that a grand jury was considering a certain thing i thought a grand jury was impaneled a federal grand jury and it just it just took whatever cases came its way. And yet here's the uh, Justice Department making this announcement that they're going after basically Chris Christie. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that, uh, that, that they would like to take the guy off the board. And and I, why do I have this terrible feeling, J.D., that there's going to be a lot of uh, leaked grand jury testimony coming out of here in the next uh, weeks and months ahead? Well, Howie, you also mentioned CNN coverage, and it's a classic comparison story. Compare and contrast. There's the Chris Christie story on CNN, and yet nothing mentioned on that network, at least that I've seen or heard about, involving California, or I guess now former California State Senator Leland Yee. What's He's the deal? Suspended. Yeah, it's it's just incredible. I mean, uh, Chris Christie is charged with uh, you know obstructing traffic, maybe on a bridge. They've uh, this guy Leland Yee, who was a San, San Francisco state senator, was trying to uh, broker a deal between Muslim terrorists in the Philippines to buy guns, not just automatic rifles, but uh, shoulder-fired uh, grenade launchers. And uh, somebody somebody called up last week, uh, one of the viewers, and said, how come we're not hearing anything about uh, Leland Yee? And the, the, the hosts were snarky, and they said, uh, well, you know, we, we never do senators here. Well, guess what? The guy looked on the, uh, he, he called up uh, CNN, uh, he, he typed in Wendy Davis, happens to be a state senator, 
166 mentions on CNN. Leland Yee, state senators in California. There's 53 congressmen. So it means that Leland Yee, even though he's, his title is state senator, he represents more people than Nancy Pelosi or, or Henry Waxman out there. Yes. He, he's, a, he's an important figure. And they, and they and they just have given this story a complete leaving alone. And he's one of the, and there's two other senators, Democrat senators out there who've been indicted this year. They don't. I, I think I mentioned last week they don't even have a supermajority to raise taxes anymore. There's so many <laughs> that so many can't vote. Well, I don't know. More interesting traffic jams or weapons trafficking. Tough call, but For a great point. Terrorists. <laughs> I, I know, and it, it really just you know raises so many red flags. But we want to we want to move on real quickly and talk about this Fred Weichel guy. Uh, he's a South Boston man, and he's been in jail for a long time. This has to deal with your old buddy, Whitey Bulger. Uh, right. Apparently, this Weichel guy says he didn't do the crime. And we're reading, we're posting from the uh, Boston Globe right here. Fred Weichel, a South Boston man who spent more than 32 years in prison for murder he says he did not commit, has found an unlikely ally in an ongoing court battle to get his conviction overturned. That ally, James Whitey Bulger. Uh, Boulder right. acknowledges playing an indirect role in La Monica, the guy on the, uh, I think on the right there, the murder in question here. He wrote that the real killer was an unarmed or unnamed close friend of Weichel, not Weichel himself. But Boulder says he has a code of conduct that he cannot break, so he won't actually give up the oh, real boy. killer's <laughs> name. So, <laughs> Howie, fill in the blanks for us here. Is, is Whitey Boulder, we talked about this in the past, the possibility of him cooperating somehow and uh, how that's been characterized, right. but this Whitey, latest saga. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Fred Weichel was a very tough guy on the streets of South Boston, and, and Whitey actually used him and, a, and another guy as sort of the muscle when he took over the uh, cocaine rackets back in the early 1980s. But uh, he was he, Whitey was always fearful of guys that he thought might be a might be a threat to him that could uh, that could take him out. And the the other Weichel's partner got got killed in a barroom brawl, and Whitey was very happy. And then when this guy got in a jam, uh, Whitey, one of Whitey's uh, FBI agents, could have been a, uh, a a a witness, an exculpatory witness. He'd been with him at a bar 15 minutes before this murder occurred, miles away. But Whitey told him to keep his mouth shut. And the guy's been gone for 32 years now. And I guess Whitey, I hate to say he's being struck by a pang of conscience, but uh, he he seems that. He seems that he, he really wants to make up for putting this guy behind bars for 32 years. Weichel seems like a nice guy. He, all I know is uh, J.D. and John, he sends me a Christmas card every year. All right, we got to go. Good seeing you, Howie. We'll check in with you next week.